Very good Thursday evening, folks. I'm NTV Chief Meteorologist Eddie Shear. Well, yet another weather maker is on the way to Newfoundland as I speak. This one going to bring copious amounts of rain and snow to parts of the island between later tonight and about 2 or 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Questions? Where does the rain fall? Where is the heaviest snow? And will it be windy? These are things lots of you are asking. So we'll kind of break those barriers down one by one and start to get those questions answered. As far as what we have going on out there right now, radar imagery as of 735 showing a few flurries and light snow across the west coast and some rain and snow pushing onto the south coast. And as we take a closer look into the Port of Basque area, we can see just inland it's snow, but along the immediate coast we are seeing that rain-snow mix or just plain old rain. That trend will continue across the south coast this evening, but colder air moves in overnight, which should turn that mix or rain over to snow by tomorrow morning. Now this is all moving in and developing ahead of an area of low pressure, pressure which is still well to our south and not developed yet, but it will develop over the next few hours and track right over the Avalon Peninsula between later tonight and tomorrow. And this is presenting some forecast challenges for the Avalon Peninsula itself in where exactly does that rain snow line set up. Environment Canada has the following alerts in place. Snowfall warnings for Clarenville and vicinity, Terra Nova, Gander, Bonavista North, Bonavista Peninsula for heavy snowfall later tonight through tomorrow. Same thing for Grand Falls, Windsor, and vicinity, Bay of Exploits. Buckins in the interior, Canigra. These regions will likely see significant snowfall, but not warning criteria. Buren Peninsula also under a special weather statement for significant snow for northern areas later tonight and tomorrow, while southern parts of the Buren Peninsula will predominantly see rain, but snow squalls developing later tomorrow, tomorrow night and Saturday, and same thing along the west coast, Corner Brook Bay, St. George Channel, Port of Basque, under a snow squall watch for snow squalls that likely develop later tonight, persisting, or excuse me, later tomorrow, persisting into Saturday. Areas that see persistent squalls could see very significant amount, but because squalls are kind of really narrow, it's hard to say who's going to see how much. Temperatures north below freezing, snow will stick no problem, south a little above, so we see that rain-snow mix or just plain old rain at least initially. Older air does come back into the picture tomorrow. So here's future cast. We'll start us off this evening. I also have the wind gusts plotted on there as well. As we go into midnight, we see that rain and snow developing across the island. On the Avalon, it looks like after midnight, we see southern areas starting as rain, northern areas starting as snow or a rain-snow mix, but by tomorrow morning, it looks like much of the Avalon Peninsula is seeing some rain. But what I want to draw your attention to is the model is thinking that the Avalon North, Conception Bay North area, may stay predominantly snow by tomorrow morning potentially the Buren Peninsula as well. I'm not sure I buy that solution for the Buren Peninsula, but the Avalon, I think this could happen. However, if the low track's a little farther west, which most computer models have it, that rain snow line, instead of where it is on this map, is a little bit farther back to the west, which means the heaviest snow still falls west of the Avalon Peninsula. Now, as we go into tomorrow afternoon, we see that low lifting north, Heavy snow is still ongoing across the northeast coast, but on the Avalon we were seeing either rain showers or rain showers mixing with snow flurries as colder air begins to move back in. And then tomorrow evening what we see is the snow squalls beginning to get organized in a kind of west to east fashion. And as you can see here, we've got some streamers showing up across the west coast and right across the Buren Peninsula and parts of the southern Avalon. That's kind of phase two. It's also going to turn very windy for the northeastern areas tomorrow afternoon where winds will gust close to 80 or 90 kilometers per hour at times, especially along exposed coastal areas. Snowfall amounts, again, it's all going to depend on the overall track of this area of low pressure, but the heaviest amounts are going to be across northeastern Newfoundland, where I'm thinking 20 to 30 centimeters will fall. The area of the Avalon North, Isthmus, not sure if that area will see snow or not and also the northern part of the Buren Peninsula will see significant snowfall. Now something that could cut these totals down, if we see some rain, obviously we will see lower totals, and the chance of rain is possible right along the immediate coastline of the Bonavista Peninsula and the eastern side of the island just west of the Avalon. I guess we'll call it the western side of Trinity Bay. Something to watch, not sure what's going to happen. If it does, again, 
snowfall amounts going to be lower. As far as rainfall amounts go across much of the Avalon, if we do see rain, we're talking about 10 to 20 millimeters, perhaps higher on the southwest Avalon. Buren Peninsula, same thing. Lesser amounts farther north, where it looks like we see more in the way of snow rather than rain. I hope you found this informative. I will pass along updates as needed this evening. We'll see how the evening models come in, if they move that low track any farther east, or if it stays how it looks right now, which is kind of the Avalon, stays mainly rain, and just west, we see the very significant snowfall. Oftentimes, those highest snowfall amounts are right on the rain snow line. So areas like Clarenville, Random Island, you guys could be the winners this go around as far as significant snow goes. Wouldn't be surprised if some places see about 30 centimeters. Hope you found this hope you found this informative. Have a great night. And as always, I will see you tomorrow on NTV and on social media before then. You can find me on Facebook, meteorologist Eddie Shear, Twitter at Eddie Shear, Snapchat, Eddie Shear, Instagram, Eddie Shear. Have a great evening.